to mine is life. Today, we are going to be sharing with you about the power of selective detachment. Have you ever found yourself being affected and influenced by the negative thoughts and negative behaviors of other people? Are the conditions around you not to your liking and you feel negative emotions and strong resistance to your current situations? Do you read the daily news about negative events or have a chat with a colleague or friend about something negative and feel yourself in a negative state after that? Well, you are not alone. We all find ourselves affected or influenced by the negativity of others. But the question is, how long do you remain in a negative emotional state after that? One of the best things you can start learning is the art of selective detachment. By selective detachment, we mean emotionally detaching yourself from situations around you, especially the negative ones. This is the art of releasing and letting things be. Some people say detachment means you have no ideals or goals or aims in life. That is far from the truth. You can practice a form of selective detachment and it will help you to have your goals firmly in your mind. In fact, your daily practice of detachment will help you achieve your desires faster than if you don't practice it. By emotionally detaching yourself from the negative talk, negative people, and negative events around you, you are choosing to deliberately maintain your emotional vibration in the positive state. What detachment does is to help you avoid any emotional reaction to negative things that you hear or encounter. It is a form of mindfulness where you constantly choose only positive reaction or no reaction. In the real world, most people tend to focus more time on the negatives. They think that by focusing on problems and what's wrong is the way to hopefully resolve the problem. But in reality, the more they try to resist and fight the negative events and thoughts, the more they are focusing on the negative and feeling negative. They are attracting more of it by the universal law of attraction. Now, Let us try a better way, since we understand the law of attraction. We can listen to other people blame, judge, and complain about everything under the sun. But we choose to inwardly detach mentally and emotionally from being influenced or affected by their negative thoughts. And what if you could do this your entire day, every day? for three weeks in your daily life? Imagine 21 days of non-emotional reaction to negative events and behaviors around you. If you could do that, you are conditioning a new empowering habit in your subconscious mind. One of the most important and basic things we have to remember when we want to be masters of our own fate is this. We must deliberately and carefully choose our thoughts and emotions. The causation of our thoughts are not events and people outside of us, but it is our mental and emotional response within to things happening outside of us. We all know there are people that can interpret a neutral or positive event in their life as a negative event or the worst thing that ever happened to them. Events have no meaning other than the meaning and reaction we give to them. 
it is our own interpretation we must be aware of. Our reaction and response to events puts us either a positive or negative emotional state. And the emotional states that we feel are vibrationally attracting to us conditions and events that matches those states. So, how do we practice selective detachment? Step 1. Release the negative thought and emotion. If your friend or spouse is being negative, if your government is corrupt, or if someone is being unfair, instead of judging them or their problems and therefore resisting and perpetuating it, just try releasing the negative thought mentally and emotionally. By releasing it, you stop analyzing, judging and thinking about it. You avoid any negative emotional response regarding the topic. Have a voice in your head that says, that doesn't affect me, I refuse to let that affect me because I am going to create my own reality. Practice releasing the negative so that you have room in your mind to think and feel the positive. Once you master this, you can even try to empower your friend or your spouse by helping them release the negative thought, reframe the problem and start focusing on what they want. 2. Practice non-resistance. Accept things as they are outwardly, while you imagine things inwardly as you would like them to be. With things outside of your control, there is no point in resisting or fighting it emotionally and mentally. You only keep your own emotional vibrations in the negative range by resisting it. There are things you can take action to try to resolve them. Then you should take some physical action immediately to try to improve them in some ways. And there are things that you need to stop focusing on because it is beyond your control. Resist not. What about negative behaviors of others such as blaming, complaining, unfair accusations or being unreasonable. You can choose to just let them be who they want to be. Just minimize any further negative discussion about it or ignore it or even better, change the direction of the discussion to a more positive note. You will find that if you start arguing with negative people it often escalates the situation and they will increase their negative behaviors. Remember, negative people love negative company. If you remain detached and not get sucked into their game, they will start looking for other negative people to share and spread their negative states. 3. Replace the negative thought with a positive thought. Have in your mind an image of what you want to achieve or manifest. Imagine an image of yourself as the person you want to be. See yourself as successful, wealthy, happy, loved and positive. See yourself driving your ideal car, getting your desired level of income or living in your ideal home. That is your target outcome picture in your mind. You must have this in your mind to remind you of your goal anytime you need it. If not, you will be easily swayed by the negative events and people around you or you will drift without an aim. This picture will serve as an anchor in your mind to that desired reality daily imagine it. More importantly, 
you need to imagine this ideal picture in your mind when the world tests you with negative events and negative people. This mental image is your mental anchor of who you want to be, a person vibrating with positive thoughts and emotions that attracts happiness and success. The more you shape that picture every day, it is going to become easier and easier to bring it up in your mind. Soon, you will be able to see it clearly. This picture will become useful to carry you through the ups and downs in your life. You may have rainy days, but recalling this picture in your mind will anchor you to the positive state and future reality that you are shaping and attracting in your mind. The ultimate purpose of practicing selective detachment is this. Liberate yourself from negative states. Start controlling your thoughts to design your life instead of letting yourself be swayed by the events and people around you. Creating a positive life and positive influence starts with you. Affirm to yourself frequently, I am the center of positive thoughts and empowering thoughts. Negative thoughts have no place in my mind and consciousness. Listen to this video frequently to remind yourself about the power of selective detachment. Try your best to do selective detachment for the next 21 days. Avoid negative reactions and response. You will find the more you use it, the easier and more natural it is to remain in a positive state. If you like this video, please like and press subscribe and turn on the notification button for more new videos.